I can't believe I just made a happy hardcore track. All started when I found this 80s disco sample on Tracklib. And then I sped it up like this. Happy Hardcore is a genre that emerged in the early 90s from UK breakbeat hardcore as well as Dutch, German, Belgian hardcore techno. The 4-4 dance style is often characterized by heavy, sometimes distorted kick drum, uplifting pianos, and female vocals. Artists that champion the sound include DJ Slipmat, Duggle, Psy, Seduction, and Vibes. In North America, the style was popular of candy ravers who sported extremely oversized fat pants and colorful toy chains. Candy ravers often got shunned by the junglist. But hey, I have no shame. I admit, I had a phase where I thoroughly enjoyed the genre. So without further ado, let's get into some happy hardcore. Alright, so how did I find a sample? So I went on Tracklib and I was browsing through their tracks and then I was filtered for their pop tracks. Now I specifically wanted some vintage kind of disco sounding loop. So I filtered it for around the 80s, specifically 1980. And then I was going through all the samples until I found this one that was called Ain't I Making You Sexy by the brother Jones. And check this out. So once I heard that vocal loop, I was like, all right, that's the vibe. I just know when I hear a uh, vocal and you pitch it up, there's this old school vibe to it. And when I heard this, I was like, all right, we're going to use this. So I just went into the loop section. You can loop two or four bars. What's cool with Tracklib is you can go into this beat section and you can add a variety of different beats just as a preview of how this would sound with a beat on top, right? And then we can download the loop itself. You don't have to download the entire track if you don't need it. Just click download at the bottom and then you'll download the file. And then I imported the sample right into Isotopes RX and I used the music rebalance tool, which allows us to separate the vocal and remove all the other sounds behind. And here's the vocal on its own. By the way, today's video is sponsored by Tracklib. Tracklib is an online record store for sampling, providing a growing catalog of over 80,000 tracks and multi-tracks which you can sample from. And you have the comfort of knowing that all tracks on Tracklib can be 100% cleared affordably and quickly. If you're interested in trying out Tracklib, you can sign up with my link in the description. You'll receive 15 tracks which you can sample for free. All right, let's pick up some more samples from Tracklib. I have a collection called Strange's Breaks. It's actually a public collection, so you can look for it or use the link down below to find it. Essentially, I went through the library on Tracklib and tried to add as many tracks that I can find that has break beats here. So let's check it out. I added some new ones recently, and you can check these out. They're pretty good. That's a nice drum funk break. That one reminds me of some old school Dylan John Lemon D. I'm gonna take this break up here. Just like the, with the vocal sample, we can take a loop, we can take two or four bars. I try to take, uh, usually four is good because sometimes the way it loops is not perfect, meaning the one doesn't start exactly at the very first beat. You might be missing 15 milliseconds. So it's better to take four bars and then take the best cut. Now you can just hit download and uh, you'll have the sample. All right, here's the sample imported into Ableton. Set, set. And I'm making you sexy. 
And this is currently 135 beats per minute. Let's bump it up to 170 beats per minute. Sexy. I'm making you sexy. Now for that nostalgic 90s feel, we need to bump up the pitch of the vocal. So I'm going to pitch it up by four semitones. Sexy. I'm making you sexy. All right, that's sounding more like 90s happy hardcore now. Now since the vocal has been pitched up, let's pull it mixed in key to find out what key it's playing at. Okay, so it says it's at G flat minor or F sharp minor. It's the same thing. Good to know, F sharp minor. All right, let's high pass some of the low frequencies from the vocal. We don't need that. And then let's add a bit of delay with Arteria's delay tape to add a little more juice to this vocal. So the vocal is going to provide the foundation or the bed for the track and it'll guide us through the entire session in terms of what notes we're going to use to layer on top. Okay, uh, with Happy Hardcore, having some piano chords and melodies is key. You want something that's uplifting. So the first thing is we're going to write some chords. Now I pulled up a pad from Chords M1 here. It just has a nice old school feel to it. And first and foremost, we're gonna write some root notes to find our chord progression to go with the vocal. So we know that the key is at F sharp minor. So we're gonna use the scale feature, set it to minor and just hide all the notes that we don't need. And then with the vocal sample and engage, you can play around with the pads until you find some notes that will work. We're using a four bar pattern here. And that works. All right, that gives me the vibes. Let's keep going. So Happy Hardcore usually uses basic triad chords. So if you're using the scale feature, you've hidden all the other notes. A basic triad is essentially every other note. So you can highlight all the notes, hold control, click and drag to copy. And then you have basic triads here. Now, the last two chords seem to get too high. So what you can do is take the top two notes of each chord, and then you can move them down. You can hold shift and down. And this will make the chord sound a little more uh, in depth. Chord progressions often sound nice when you have adjoining top notes. So this E here is connected to this E here and uh, it makes it sound a little more sweeter. So what we did with the chords here is inverting it. So it's called an inversion. Finally, to thicken up the chord, we could take the root note of each chord and then duplicate it an octave down. So take this note, this one, that would be this one up here and this, these were the root notes. Hold control, click and drag and make a copy. Now these two seem to be too high up here. They're too, too close to the uh, triad. So you can select the two and move it down here. And now we have this. And now the chord has much more depth. Let's use the chords from the pad and create some pianos. So for that nostalgic vibe, we need a very basic sounding piano sample or instrument. And the perfect one that was used in the 90s was the Korg M1 piano. If you don't have Korg M1, there's tons of people that have sampled this piano and uploaded it on the internet. You can probably download it for free. I'll try to include some links down below for the piano for free if you want to find it. So here's the piano mirroring the pattern. Let's make the piano a little more rhythmic. So we're going to shorten the notes and we're going to create a uh, dotted quarter note pattern. So all I've done was create this kind of what we call the fake triplet. I've done a number of videos where I use this pattern. It's used throughout dance music. OK, 
okay? And then what you can do to add a little more rhythm in the spaces, we can add the bass notes. So we could either just cop, move these bass notes, move it here like this, and we'll have to move this one out because that doesn't belong. So you can have like that, shorten it. We can add another note here just to increase the rhythm. For a little more rhythm, we can double up these bottom notes here. Essentially what's happening is you have kind of like a call and response. You have the high chords is followed by the root notes. So they interchange in between. So they never play at the same time. So that's how you write this pattern. Let's add some EQing to the piano. I found the magic tip for the pianos was to add a transient shaper. So I added a little bit of an attack to the piano to make it hit a little harder. Here's before. Now it is a bit louder, but there's also a little more energy with the piano. Let's add some reverb. All right, there we have it. Let's listen to all three layers. The nostalgia. By the way, if you're watching me for the first time, my name is Stranger. I've been making music for over 25 years with releases on big labels in the UK, including Hospital Records, Metalheads, and Critical Music. On this channel, our mission is to demystify production techniques so you can accelerate your journey in music production. If that sounds good to you, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. All right, the next step is we need some drums and typically with Happy Hardcore 909 drums are used. So I'm using Roland's TR909 here and it's a basic uh, drum kit. Essentially, the pattern is very similar to how so you have a 4-4 kick. Oftentimes in Happy Hardcore, you have a clap that follows the kick with an extra clap in the middle at the end here. Sometimes you might even have a snare in, the, in between the kicks. And then you have closed and open hi-hats, uh, which is the standard pattern similar to house. You have a We can duplicate this and just add a double snare at the end to make this a little more interesting. Now I've routed the TR909's kick, snare, and clap to separate outputs in Ableton because I want to add some additional processing. In Happy Hardcore, oftentimes the kick is distorted, so I'm going to use Riff to distort the kick. As well, that snare probably sounds better with some distortion as well to make it punchier. I added some additional EQing and some clipping to make the snare super fat. Here's without the glue compressor. And here's with the glue. Here's a tip. You can use glue compressor as a clipper. Don't use any of the compression settings. All you want to do is increase the makeup amount until it clips. And you can tell if this clipping, uh, you want to ensure it's soft clipping and just make sure the clip is blinking and you'll get that nice squared out effect. So now the snare is sounding nice and fat. Here's all the drums together. Another common element in Happy Hardcore is layering the drums with some breakbeats because Happy Hardcore kind of emerged from Breakbeat Hardcore when they decided to, it kind of forked, right? Uh, Breakbeat Hardcore forked into Jungle and then Happy Hardcore kind of. So uh, that's where that, I guess, uh, the breakbeats come from. And here's an Amen break, which is forthcoming from our new sample pack called OG Jungle. It'll be coming out soon. Stay tuned for more info about it. And here's another break from OG Jungle compiled by my good friend Fringe. 
And then here's the third break from the track lip. And yes, you can have as many as three break beats. As long as it doesn't sound too busy, as long as the breaks uh, complement each other, it is fine. Here's the breaks layered together. And then let's hear it layered with the other drums. And I know what you guys are going to say. You're going to say the breaks sound a bit uh, loose or sloppy here. You may want to keep them kind of sloppy for that old school feel. However, if I had a little more time, I would probably pinpoint find out how I can clean up. There's, there's one hit here that kind of just falls out of place, but it's fine. We're just going to keep the vibe going. All right, well, almost there. One of the finishing sounds we need in this track is an old school rave stab. So I'm using the free VST called Rave Generator, Rave Generator 2, tipped up by one of you in my audience a while ago. It's an awesome free VST. It has pretty much, it has nearly every old school rave stab or sound you could ever dream of. And I can't believe it's for free. So I have this rave Hoover sound. It's perfect for our track here. So for the rave stab, we can do a typical offbeat bass like that. Another very popular pattern is you can do the da 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 da, which is two d short double notes and then the longer note like that. You can do it the, also the other way, where you start with the long note and then you have the short notes following it. It's just a different variation of the sample. So we're going to use that as a guide for our melody. We won't use the double, I call it the galloping rhythm. Uh, we won't use it through the entire melody, but we'll use it at parts to add variation. So we'll make this a four bar loop and we'll just use a melody that's similar to the pad progression, but with a few different notes at the end. Uh, here's our final pattern. We've added uh, some of the galloping rhythms at the end of the phrase on the fourth and eighth bar here. I also doubled up the note at the end here. So you have da, 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 da. And those uh, galloping rhythms just add a little more to this uh, stab melody. Now I've added some enforcements to the stab melody to make it thicker. I'm using Omnisphere with this Euphoria uh, instrument. And then I'm using the Chord Prophecy as the bass. So I have three layers all together. makes it sound a lot thicker. So let's hear it all together. Let's add the piano. Vocals. We can finally add the pads. All right, so we have all the elements we need for an awesome, happy, hardcore track. So now we can bring it into the arrangement. All right, so I pulled the track of the arrangement. Now I did go back into the breakbeats because I know there's going to be a troll down in the comments complaining about that one breakbeat that sounds a bit loose here. It's this hit here, over here. That. There's nothing wrong with it because, but with all the layers together, it sounds like something weird is happening. So what we can do is just take the slice and move it over here. That'll kind of mask it and then we can just join it all together and replace it 
throughout the entire track. All right, so finally here is the arrangement. I've added some locators so you can visualize the structure of the song. I have 16 bars of intro followed by another 16 of the breakdown. I added a snare buildup and some transition sounds such as some crashes and risers. And then you have four blocks of the body. Essentially, that's 64 bars, 16 times 4. And then you have 32 bars of the body here, followed by another 16 bar breakdown. And you have body two and the outro. So now that we have the track all together, let's hear it in full. Oh yeah, we got some happy hardcore. Who still has their fat pants and air horns? Bring them out. And no lie, I actually thought the vocal said, am I making you sad, sad? Now the entire meaning of the track changed and now I know it's sexy, not sad. Am I making you sexy? All right, so I hope you enjoyed my happy hardcore recreation. I hope it brings back some good memories to the old school ravers. And if you're new to the sound, maybe it'll open you up to some new tracks. And even if you're not into happy hardcore, I think some of the compositional techniques such as harmonic layering can come in handy in your writing style. And remember, you can receive 15 tracks to sample for free at Tracklib with my link down in the description. Finally, if you want more old school 90s vibes, you can check out my ambient jungle video here or my UK breakbeat hardcore video here. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe, stay creative, and peace out. Hey, if you want to support, you can check out my products in the link below. My rollers kit for Ableton is out now, containing 23 modular instruments and over 400 MIDI and audio patterns. Use it to spark creativity for your next track. 
For the most upfront sounds and bass music, you can grab my gnarly serum pack or wubs and wobbles for vital. You can also check out my jungle and liquid Ableton production kits. Hint, if you don't have Ableton, you can grab the wave packs. If you're not ready to buy yet, you can always check out my free products also in the link below. Anyways, always appreciate your support. Have fun creating!